Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and Google has announced the launch of the Pixel 3a and 3a XL smartphones and they are priced at 39,999 rupees in India and the Pixel 3a XL is for 44,999 rupees. Now Google says that the camera that we got on last year's Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL, the dual pixel 12.2 megapixel camera is exactly the same on the new Pixel 3a devices. So what we decided to do is take both the phones, the Pixel 3a XL and the Pixel 3 out for a spin to click some photos to see what's the difference or what's the same. So here's what we found out. So we did manage to click a couple of photos and one thing we'd like to tell you straight out of the box is the fact that the Pixel 3a has a slightly cooler tone when compared to the photos on the Pixel 3. Let's uh, kick things off with this really nice photo of Batman but that's not our point of focus. To the right we have a picture of the Joker. Now you will notice that the Pixel 3a XL has a slightly blue tint to it, it has a cooler tone to it. However, the Pixel 3 actually managed to produce some more true to life colors on the image. We use night sight for this photo as well because the light was slightly low and the camera did recommend that we use a night sight. And the Pixel 3a turned out to be slightly better with less noise when zoomed into the dark night himself. When nitpicking, the Pixel 3 has some more details in this night sight photo, but by a really small margin. Look at it from a distance and you will appreciate both of them. Now, when you look at the photo of this uh, of these petals on the wall, the HDR plus mode of the Pixel 3a is slightly better with its saturations. However, when you look at the details, the Pixel 3 manages to catch them a little better. Now we do have a photo of my Beagle which was shot with both the phones and the Pixel 3 is better when pixel peeping and by pixel peeping I mean you really really have to go close and look at things which are surrounding the Beagle. So in this case for example the green on the speaker is actually more clear on the Pixel 3 than the Pixel 3a which is where the Pixel 3 wins with a slight margin. Now when it comes to selfies uh, the one thing that you will notice is the Pixel 3a XL is slightly cooler but the Pixel 3 produces slightly better images. The Pixel 3 has slightly sharper images and the hair on the face is more easily discernible in the selfie. Now with the lady with the lamp in the frame we click this photo in HDR and the Pixel 3 smoothened out the textures whereas the 3a kept the textures almost the same to the source. Notice that this picture isn't exactly a flat photo, it does have some textures on it to make it look like a painting which the 3a retained almost close to source. When it comes to HDR plus mode for the same photo, the Pixel 3 is doing a better job. It's sharper and has better contrast. Now when I click the photo of this light source in the dark as you can see surrounded by greenery, the Pixel 3a is trying to make things sharper but the Pixel 3 has a better photo overall which is keeping it true to source. Once again you will only notice this when you absolutely pixel peep into things which you may not otherwise notice in the frame such as uh, the textures on the trees on the side for example. The Pixel 3 also has better skin tone which is more accurate than the Pixel 3a in some of our images. Moving on to this Spider-Man figurine, the Pixel 3a has more contrast making it look punchier but the Pixel 3 has more natural looking colors. Now take a look at this, behind Spider-Man you have the little sofa which has the pink flowers. Now even though in both these images they are slightly blurry, they are out of focus, it is the Pixel 3 which manages to retain more details of this backdrop than the Pixel 3a XL. So overall we'd like to conclude that indoors the 3a has better contrast in the day making the images look nice and crisp. They may not be true to real world but they are pleasing to the eye. However, details and sharpness of the Pixel 3 has the edge for those that want more natural looking and slightly more detailed photos. Pixel peeping is the only way to find true differences between these two cameras because when viewed on a smartphone or on a display on social media, the photos from both the cameras are nearly neck on neck. So there you have it guys, that was our quick comparison of the Pixel 3a XL versus the Pixel 3, what's different, what's the same in the camera and as always you can let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below and for more from the world of technology you can subscribe to our channel, we will catch you in another video, it's goodbye for now. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.